What's going on everybody? Doc, Average Gamer Guys, and we are back yet again. And, uh, <laughs> I don't even really need to say a whole lot. We're going to open some crates, and we're going to start just right now, even before the intro is even over. And, uh, just welcome back. Um, I don't know what else to say. We didn't get exactly what we wanted in our last crate opening, so, as we normally do, <laughs> I'm just going to jump it up again. Um... Cracking open all those crates to kind of get back into the swing of things. <laughs> we start off with a painted discotheque. Awesome. Um, cracking all those crates to kind of get back into a swing of things really got me excited again about opening crates. Taking a little hiatus from that. And uh, I miss it. I don't know what else to say. I've got a big smile on my face. We're going to do, I think I had 132 crates. We're probably going to end up doing just about all of them. I really didn't plan uh, to do all of them. I wanted to open quite a few. Um, really, really enjoy doing this. Uh, I don't know if we'll do it a weekly basis. Um, that's a little tough to do, I think, depending on how Rocket League continues to fold out, if we get any new crates coming up anytime soon, uh, and those kinds of things. And then obviously, again, what the items are inside of them. Uh, you know, the Zephyr crates, I was kind of looking back and thinking if I should do a split and open some Zephyrs. I just, again, not a huge fan of what all was in there. Although the exotic wheels are, uh, I would say, better. I do like the reactors probably the most. Uh, I think out of the couple of sets of uh, wheels that are available in the last couple of crates. But we'll just see. Uh, I thought about doing gold pumpkins as well as we closed out the Halloween event. And I kind of toss that around. So we'll, we'll see what comes up in the near future. Uh, obviously, and then the Rocket Pass coming to a close here in a couple weeks as well. So we'll just kind of have to play it by ear. But I just wanted to do some more. And again, disappointed. Uh, I had a really good crate opening this last one. If you didn't check it out, go uh, pop back over, check that out. It was really good. I was really happy with it. We got quite a few really neat painted items. This is the first time I had opened any of the crate any of this crate so I was excited to be able to grab anything honestly one of each of the items was was really neat I do like to have just about everything out of a crate and uh, we did pretty good we got quite a bit of different stuff we got one of those painted Nimbus uh, Nimbus right there uh, we got pink painted Rasian wheels which is really awesome and I totally underestimated them so I'm not gonna talk crap about them in the in this video and we did pretty good like I said we did pretty good but we miss out on the one thing that we really want, or one of the things that we really want, which honestly was to grab a black market. So that's what we're going for today. That is the whole purpose of today. We'll see how many we end up opening. If we end up cracking one and it's a good black market decal or one of the goal explosions, maybe it has a little bit of paint on it, we may just cut it short there. We'll just have to kind of play it by ear. But we'll see. But we will see. Again, welcome back. Hang with me for the next however long this video is going to end up being. We're just going to run through these as quick as we can. Just kind of chill out. That's what I like doing with these. And like connecting back with you. Again, happy to be able to get some content up on the channel. Like I said, trying to get back into a normal rhythm. And, and just get some stuff out. Just connect with you guys. Connect with the community. Connect with the community. Wow, I can't talk today. We've got a lot of synth waves as well, where I'm noticing, but um, yeah, just going to have some fun. Uh, hopefully everybody, whatever day you're in up watching this on, hopefully you're having a good day. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Hopefully it's a good one for you. If it's not, hopefully you can relax a little bit, take your mind off whatever's bothering you, whatever you got going on, and just kind of chill with me. Just crack some crates open, watch me, either my good luck, hopefully it's good luck, hopefully you guys are crossing some fingers, maybe a couple toes for me out there. Uh, it might end up being really bad luck. We will just uh, we will just go forward and see. Now, I have some other kind of I don't know how to put it. I'm hoping for some other things out of this crate uh, beyond just the black market. I do want to see if we can get some more of the trails, some more of the discos. See if we can get some more of those painted. Finny wheels. I'd like to see a couple other variants of those painted, and I'd honestly like to see a couple of these octane sticker bombs painted as well. To see how we can do there. So far, nothing really going. Did get a painted discotheque to start, which was pretty happy, which we're pretty happy about. But I want to say I think we already had that color, so we'll just have to see from the last crate opening. But again, happy to be able to crack these open. I'm happy that 
whoever's watching this out there, you guys can join us. Uh, and if you're, you know, not in a position that you can open crates or just don't like it, because the odds are honestly terrible, <laughs> and I don't blame you at all for not opening crates, uh, hopefully you can just enjoy uh, watching me roll this dice quite a few times. And this is a pretty decent start here. We are not that many crates in. I can't tell they look painted and certified. We are getting painted and certified wheels here. I want to say those are cobalt uh, just because I got a sky blue car on. Ah, man, they're not bad. I don't know how to, I don't know what to say about these. They're not bad. Those are pretty cool. I, I do like them. Definitely painted. The cobalt is definitely a better color in my opinion than the base color. I'm 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 excited about them. They're they're really neat. I was curious to see what my reaction was going to be if we ever got any of them painted. I I think I was more impressed with the Raging wheels, but these are pretty cool. And what I'm not getting a good sense for from this car because it because of the body style is the tread. So the tread might make these pop a little bit more. This car covers it up, but there's obviously a nice uh, kind of clean line down the middle of them, which is pretty cool. So, I mean, I'm stoked. Don't get me wrong. I'm stoked. That's a great pull, especially we're not that many crates into this. I, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, hopefully, we don't use up all of our painted luck or all of our luck at the start here. But uh, I would love to see. I'd love to see some more stuff just out of this crate. I don't know if this can be painted. Uh, I don't think it can. I think it's one of the few items that can't. I was incorrect or sort of correct from my last video, although we didn't see any. Some painted Yamains would be pretty awesome. Um, I'm kind of hoping we can pick up a couple of those potentially uh, out of these crates. I think would be really neat. We got quite a few this past time, uh, the past crate opening, and just uh, they were all they were all just regular ones. I think we might have got a certified pair in there or two. Or up. I'm really not too sure. Let's see what we can get here. We got some of the standard ones. I really still do not like these in their regular colors. Hate hate me out there if you want. Uh, not a big fan, but the painted ones. We got pink. I think they were pink sniper, if I'm remembering correctly. We got the pink ones last time, and they were pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. We'll also look to see uh, this video. If we end up opening all of these, is going to be pretty long. So maybe we'll save the trade-ups for a different video. Uh, and I'm kind of curious. I might do just a bigger trade-up video just in general. I'm also kind of hoping this is on my thought That lagged a little bit. We'll see if we get this sticker bomb painted um, No, yeah, no nothing interesting the lag trick doesn't seem to work as much anymore uh, at least Recently for these crates, which is kind of sad because that was always kind of a neat thing uh, For it to happen when it popped up because you knew you were going to get at least something okay, painted or certified. The other thing I was thinking about is I'm curious to see if we're going to be getting a double painted weekend anytime soon. You know, it's always a struggle opening crates because you never want to open up any and miss out on a double painted weekend. It, I mean, can this be painted? That this the opening of this was really really weird. It's certified certified you know what they did with this car that I really like is they made the body of it like a really deep black that's the one thing I'm noticing it and my the colors on my car do not do it justice I'm a big fan of that I'm a big fan it looks nice if you wanted a clean bodied car uh, with a good just mate black color that's the way to do it these are probably gray I'm not gonna get my hopes up these are gray I'm almost positive those are gray. We'll go back and look at it. We'll go back at the end and we'll take a look at it. I'm pretty sure those are gray. Not bad. I'm I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> it's the it's the color in between the colors that I would want it to be either black, either straight black or or white. Uh, so that's probably tempering my uh, excitement there a little bit. They can come painted. We just confirmed that uh, as I had suspected last uh, episode, but was sadly let down without being able to get any of them. Um, but we've got some pretty decent painted luck so far. These first, we're, we're under 25 crates. I think I started with 132. We've got, this is number 108 left. So 
not bad. Some pretty good luck uh, up until this point, which I'm which I'm very very happy about. Like I said, real reason, honestly, the real reason I do this is just because I enjoy it. I love holding these crates. This crate got me excited, being able to come back, uh, do do a nice kind of long video of just a good crate opening. Uh, got me back into wanting to do this, and I just I'm a gambling man. I'm a gambling man, and I just I just like it. I like open the crates. It's fun. The excitement's there. Um, it's just an enjoyable time, and hopefully you guys are enjoying it with me. And hopefully I can make it more enjoyable. Actually, hopefully Psyonix and Rocket League can make it more enjoyable for all of us, and help me get a pretty awesome painted black market decal or black market goal explosion. I'm just going to ask a couple more times. It's really why we're here. Let's just be honest. It is 100% why we're here. Breakout ripped comic. Very cool. But back to what I was saying, and I'm jumping all over the place as I normally do, which is ramble. Uh, pretty much just ramble during these. I'm really curious to see if we're going to get a double painted weekend again anytime soon. We've seen psionics in the past really really likes to this is painted i think no it's just regular i really don't know if that can come painted i don't know i should have done again just like last video i should have done my research beforehand but i'm really curious to see and we've seen in the past that psionics and rightfully so i will say this beforehand rightfully so i agree for the majority of what I'm about to say, but they really hold the double painted weekends kind of in their back pocket as something really, really special. The last one we got was quite a few months ago. It was pretty near the beginning of the year, and we had waited a long time for that one. Now, that made it awesome. That made... It's interesting because it does some very interesting things with the trading community. It makes some of the crates that some people have that aren't necessarily as valuable as they used to be, way more valuable for a very short period of time. And in my opinion, that's an awesome thing. Now, there's obviously people out there uh, within the community that will try to profit off that, and if they've been sitting on crates, rightfully so, you know, more power to them, to be honest with you. But for the average trader, uh, crates in general, uh, especially certain crates, PCCs, for instance, that's the best example. Uh, just get better they just their value increases actually quite exponentially for the most part just because of the opportunity to get the wheels inside of them and it just does an interesting thing to the trading community where it makes uh, you know now keys are the are the key currency which makes sense and it, it used to be crates pccs were really the top uh, top of the the trading community as far as an easy um as far as an easy thing to move and to trade into but what happens is, again, during those weekends, is that crate value on those just skyrockets. And in my opinion, if you pay attention at all, and you at least follow Rocket League somewhat, what it gives you the opportunity to do is, if you're not a hardcore trader, if you just play the game, you just enjoy it, maybe you bought the Rocket Pass, maybe you didn't, and you're just out there collecting items, you've probably got some crates that you're sitting on, potentially a couple of PCCs. What it gives you the opportunity to do is during that time period trade for some decent value on them maybe trade up into a black market now granted black markets and things like that are much much easier to get now than they were in the past just again because of the fact that we can trade keys which I think overall was a great thing for the trading community there's a lot of people back and forth on either sides of that and I know I was very hesitant at first um, about what it was going to do to the market and honestly that's kind of part of the reason I just got out of trading for a little while because I wanted to see how things were going to go, let everything settle down. Um, I obviously have a decent inventory, and I don't know why it lagged again. I really thought it was going to be something good, but it's just these regular. They might be certified. I don't, they're not even certified. Um, but so I kind of just got out of things again. A lot of other stuff was going on, so it was a multitude of reasons, but it was just interesting to see how, how much easier it's gotten to trade. Just just to be really honest, I made some really easy trades to pick up these crates just with keys. Um, you know, it's just, it's simplified things to a, to a certain extent, and for the profit traders out, 
again there's always two sides to the coin profit traders i'm sure they still find a way to be successful those people that just want to trade and just enjoy it again the rocket pass is one of those things if you play this game a lot it's paying for itself plus it's giving you the opportunity to probably pick up a black market or two if that's something that you want um so i just it's interesting and it's awesome in my opinion it's great that xbox finally came around came around to be able to do it obviously update in terms of service and all that stuff to you know allow that to be the case and it just it makes things so much easier which is really really nice and i think for me the coolest thing is that i've seen is it gives more people accessibility to be able to get the items that they want you know there's some relative set values for most stuff and obviously that fluctuates with the market but when it comes to key prices if you do a little bit of research you can feel pretty confident that you're picking up an item for a fair value and you know i think most people when they trade that's all they really want again you can go the flip side i profit traded i did all that stuff for a period of time and it was fun it was beneficial it's, it's always exciting to find a good deal uh, and to you know pick some items up or be able to bundle some things you know make real small marginal increases on them uh, and then have that stuff pay off over the long term that's really cool but at the same token I also enjoyed being able to trade with people that felt like they were getting a fair deal now these are white for sure these are a hundred percent white we got the gray now we got the white boys let's go that is awesome and these are clean these are freaking clean look at those mmm gotta love them nice let's go the game is making it up for for me now from this last opening it said you know what you're not gonna get any of those this time we're gonna just we're not gonna give you a black market we're not gonna give you any of those painted we're gonna make you open some more of these and by golly they were right because they got me but now they're paying off so we got a couple of those you know there's only the other there's only one other part to that bargain that we really want and it's just you know one of those just give me one of those painted you can be white that'd be all right you know white black I'm fine I'm fine with either you know I would take either color honestly I just take a regular one <laughs> I got another a Nimbus I haven't had a chance actually I'm just so I just like the Maverick so much I haven't had a chance to actually try the Nimbus out um, we're gonna have to do that we're gonna have to try out that crimson one I got because uh, that was a pretty sick pull I was pretty pretty stoked about that and it is a neat looking car like I do I really do like the car painted um, some cars you know I haven't always been a fan of every car uh, in its painted variant because sometimes I feel like they don't give it enough paint the Nimbus is like they painted the perfect spots of it in my opinion and you know again the crimson one we got it really pops it really stands out it's pretty cool i need to make some need to test around uh, get some get some creative juices flowing and and make a couple car setups for it and actually test it out um again every car handles differently so i won't know if i like it until we try it but we're gonna have to do that we're gonna have to definitely definitely check that out so we're kind of cranking through these again I've, I've been all over the place because the game keeps interrupting me about a double painted weekend I'm just I'm curious to see if we're gonna see one soon I'm curious to see if uh, Cyanix is gonna pony it up and if we're gonna be able to get one I, I would like one I think we're about that time if they were to do like two a year two or three a year I think would be a, a really solid time frame to do it there's obviously a lot of other stuff that they're doing at the same time and the only thing I don't know is how it would play I guess it wouldn't really play into it um, it just wouldn't affect rocket pass I think that's maybe one of the considerations that they need to be careful about but there's obviously set tiers for those painted items so I don't see that being an issue like I don't have a problem if it doesn't include it I think it's smart if it didn't actually um, painted and certified I'm just I think it's about time that we get one I think we're due for one like I said two or three a year I think is a perfect amount of times to do it it makes it still feel special man we are just popping off on these it, it makes it still feel special it makes again 
it's just I don't know how it does for them as far as uh, the profit side of things. I'd be really curious to see like, and they'll never probably release this information, but I'd be really curious to see, you know, how many crates are opened in like a given week, and then oh stop, come on, so close. Um, how many crates are opened in a typical week? And then how many crates are open during like a double painted weekend? And again, they could do it for weekend. They could do it, you know, the best time frame in my opinion is like a Thursday to a Monday, which seems to kind of be what they normally do. I think we're due for one and it would be nice. I'd be cool with it if it was around the holidays too. That's the one thing that I think Rocket League and Psyonix could do just a little bit better. They do these great events for the holidays. I think they've gotten really good at timing these events so that they last far enough in advance and go far enough behind the holiday where people can enjoy it. But I think they really need to key in on some of the major weekends uh, when, you know, if you're at school, say you're in college and you're at school and you come home uh, and you're home with your family and you don't have any schoolwork to do, or if you're just in school and, re you know, for, you know, regular grade school and you get Christmas break off. Uh, or you're at work. Most people, and not most, not everybody, but most people have at least a couple of days off around the holidays, Christmas time, Thanksgiving time, uh, New Year's. I, I think they need to target some of those weekends specifically uh, to get the player base going. I know one thing, and I've done this since I was little, is holidays have always been great to be able to do really three things. <laughs> uh, eat, hang out with family, and in the downtime, play video games. Now, there's obviously a lot that goes on, but almost always I've never had a year where we've been so busy where I haven't been able to enjoy what I like to do in my free time, which is to play games. And I just think it would be smart if Cyanix would take a look at that. And again, that's for such a small portion of the world. I get it. Not everybody celebrates Christmas and things like that. But you can't make everybody happy. You can't please everybody. And on the sim, and, and on the, kind of the flip side of things is, if you can get the majority, that's it, a smart move. And typically, when you hit the majority, you usually do a pretty good job of getting quite a few people. And again, it's not one specific weekend. I think there's a lot of opportunities. There's lots of other holidays out there that they could focus on. We got some painted finny wheels. Let's go. The 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 imports, the wheels today specifically painted are just popping off for us right now. I think those are orange. I think we had some orange Yamains earlier. So let's go. We're, we're we're doing pretty good. I know I'm just kind of cruising through them. I just I have a ton of crates. We're already 20 something minutes into this. I want to just kind of keep cranking through these. Can we just please land on a mainframe? Um, but yeah, I just I've always thought that and I think what's interesting is you see some other games that do it really, really well. I don't know, I've talked about this in the past, but you got some other games that really focus on those those long weekends, holidays, that they know people are going to be off and want to play their game. I just, uh, I, I think they got to tap into that, and I think that's important. They have an opportunity here, um, you know, with the Rocket Pass is another great example. Double Experience Weekends, those shouldn't be as special as they're making them out to be. Uh, and I'm cool with them being special, but I think they got to find opportunities to do those whenever possible and doing them right again around those holiday times, uh, weekends to get the player base up and into the game. That's what you need in a game like this. Uh, and every game does that has an online multiplayer mode, but this one is, that's all this is. It's dedicated to competitive uh, or casual gameplay against other people. I think they really need to target that and try to find those opportunities where there's going to be people off that have free time and I hate to say it, as great as Rocket League is, there's a lot of other competing games out there that capture people's attention. you got to find something to entice people to bring them in. You know, I talked about this in the last crate opening, but Rocket Pass and the, the revamp to Levels Up has done, honestly, a great, great uh, for bringing people back into the game and getting them excited to just play games normally. You know, every day for me, I feel like I got to hop on and at least play a couple of games, be able to get my wins, get my experience in. And I know I can save them, but um, it, it, it's exciting. It's, it's exciting at this point to level up. It's exciting to obviously get new items for the Rocket Pass. And that 
kind of enticement keeps it going in conjunction with, you know, obviously uh, having... Yes! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Please paint this. Please paint this. Please, 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 please. I don't know if it shows in the thumbnail. Oh, baby! Let's go! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. This is why we do this. This is... Uh, this... I don't even know what to say. This is why we do this. Look at this thing. This is so sweet, dude. So sweet. I think that's cobalt. I know I'm almost positive. We got to look at this point. We we made it just about halfway through. Gosh, that is awesome. Hell yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. This is so cool, man. That's this crate opening. Mm, easy easy baby we're gonna open the rest of these just now because i'm i'm pumped that is so awesome cobalt solar flare i really wanted one i really wanted a gold explosion obviously now i could take it you know i'll take a i'll take one of the black market decals and be fine with that you know what i mean that is just nuts though that is so awesome cobalt that's a good color i like that thing that is that is a sexy sexy gold explosion Let's go. Let's go. Welcome. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. If you're watching this and you just saw me open that, thank you for being here. Sincerely. We do appreciate it. And uh, I hope you can, you know, get a big smile on your face like I got. I know you can't see, man. I don't got a face cam, nothing like that. But I am, man, That this this has been a good crate opening. This has been pretty good. Got some, got quite a few painted wheels. Uh, we kicked off with that. Man, Cobalt Solar Flare, we hit it, you know. That's the other thing I've realized about this that I love so much. Opening these crates is you can always at least get a close guess, especially as you watch that ticker roll up from the bottom of what it's going to be. And when something like that pops up and you just see it rolling through, man, it's so awesome. So awesome. And to be able to get that painted is just is just phenomenal. That, that is, uh, I mean, the odds of being able to get a black market in general, again, super, super low. To be able to get thrown and painted on top of it is just, man, so good. Woo! Thank you, Psionics. Thank you, Rocket League. And see, th again, this is the other thing that's going to keep me going. I just, I'm going to want to keep opening all these crates. I'm going to want to be able to get a mainframe and a wet paint. Oh, man. Woo! My heart's going a little bit. <laughs> My heart is going. I am I am freaking stoked. That is awesome. That is awesome. Great color too. Cobalt. Really that was really cool. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. That was a good man. There we go. There we go. That is why you watch this channel. Hopefully that's not why you watch this channel, let's just be honest. But I'm happy you're here and again I'm happy you can enjoy the excitement with me. And uh, this has been a pretty good, like I said, that that's really the cherry on top. Uh, we got another painted certified. This might be black, actually. We got a striker titanium white one this last time. If that's that that black is a pretty good color. Uh, again, if you watched the last one, you know I was a Twinser user for a long time. I've got white and black bodies of it. Big fan of that car, and. Uh, that's cool. I, li I like that muddy decal. That's a good decal. Happy to see they're giving some love to the the, the crate cars. That's always been <laughs> probably one of the biggest complaints, too, that I've had over the past, I don't know how many crates that we've opened and gone through, is the fact that they'll do a DLC, or not, I, I want to call them DLC cars. They'll do a crate car, crate import car, and then the next crate will come out, and they don't give it very much love as far as a decal. And... That's frustrating for anybody that likes to just use a decal instead of a black market and have a painted variant because a lot of times they don't get it. Oh man, this game is getting my heart rate up because just a couple of rolls ago, we got super close to mainframe. Now we just roll past a wet paint. I uh, If we could get two black market decals out of this or goal explosions, I would be so pumped. This would be one of the better crate openings we would have. I'm happy with where we are now, honestly. If I could pick up again a couple more painted discos, maybe a painted, 
painted sticker bomb instead of certified painted ones. Those I would be more than happy. We've gotten this has been a, like, the Yamains. We got the white Yamains. We got some solid stuff. Painted discos would be cool. Like I said, um, take some painted boosts. You know, to be honest with you. Uh, we got painted Twinser. I, I do think that was black. Um, we'll we'll take a look at the end of it. We'll take a look like we always do, and. Uh, and just see how we did overall but super stoked about that super super stoked about that uh, that solar flare man cobalt solid color this is painted oh I think his hoodie changes is that gray that's pretty cool I think we got a painted one earlier and I totally just skipped by it so I apologize apologize if if you're like jumping up and down when I just kind of scrolled past that I thought I saw it I didn't really connect with me very much we got some more standard ones of these. We're definitely going to have to do a trade up as we got quite a few of those in reserve and see if we can't get um, some more painted imports. That's really the big goal. Let's see what else we can get here. I'm stoked, man. This has been this has been a good good crate opening so far. We got the painted Gurnots. We got Cobalt to match Cobalt, which is pretty cool. We've got we've done really well on the exotics the past opening and this opening of these crates as well I'm kind of surprised usually you don't uh, I guess I would have to see the statistics but I guess I guess we're probably on par I just feel like we've gotten a lot of them we got painted versions of each we got quite a few uh, of each well I guess no Gurnots I think we have only, maybe only got one I'm, I'm doing bad at keeping track of everything that we've opened just because we've opened so many of these and uh, my memory is kind of like a goldfish so I don't always remember everything like I should See if we can get Bob's some more Bob's ramen here. So it is his hoodie. His hoodie is normally like a blue color. Normally like a blue color. That was definitely gray on that other one, I think. Again, we'll have to take a look at the end. Man, I'm stoked. Good, good crate opening. Really happy. Again, that's why I like doing this. The excitement, the roll of the dice, and then when you hit, a, there's just, there's just a feeling. There's just a feeling that's, it's hard to describe. It's excitement. It's joy. It's all those good emotions rolled up in one. A little bit of adrenaline. I think I'll say this. There's a comparable, I'm going to call it a high, uh, but there's a comparable set of emotions when, um, for instance, I win like a blackout game in Call of Duty or win like a PUBG game, especially if it's like a really intense game. Um, me and Sloth had a game uh, a couple days ago we were playing, Call of Duty, Blackout. Again, great. I'm not here to talk about only that game, but... I have to share this story. We we're playing one, and uh, you can unlock characters. You can unlock like the multiplayer characters by doing certain certain things. You have to find an item, and items drop in like like on the crates. If you're unfamiliar with the game, with the game, um, like a supply drop. If you played PUBG, Fortnite has a similar thing. So you have to one be lucky enough to find it because they don't spawn in everyone, and there's quite a few characters. So you, there's quite a few items that you could pick up and again they could spawn all over the map so it's kind of some pure dumb blind luck to be able to get one so we get down to the end of this game and I end up finding this item in this random care package that luckily dropped pretty close to us it had dropped there earlier nobody had grabbed it and uh, we go about and we end up um, just like clutching this win and I clutch this win by like throwing a couple grenades killing the last two guys it was 2v2 I ended up getting like I don't know a couple of kills it was actually a really really great game it was intense we were in firefights like the whole time uh, trading back and forth you know keeping each other alive and it's just I um, ended up unlocking this character that's like the hardest character to unlock you have to have this item you have to have some other items on on top of it and then you have to win the game so it's very very difficult to do and end up just clutching it and again that's the excitement and that game that has a little bit maybe more adrenaline in it you know clutching it getting that victory um, but opening these crates has a very similar <laughs> feeling for me so I know that was a very long drawn-out story but I'm sure some of you can relate if you play PUBG or Call of Duty uh, any of those battle royale games I know I'm forgetting tons of them Fortnite and all that stuff if you play any of those you know what I'm talking about when you have a really solid game you know Again, especially the games for me that you get in a lot of gunfights, you win them, 
you get a lot of kills. You, 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 your statistics are good. Um, those for me are the most exciting. And then to be able to clutch a win uh, with a good fight, I mean, is just, mm, there's, there's nothing else like it. And this comes very, very close. This is just pure joy and excitement from being able to be lucky. It's always good to, f to be lucky, right? Like nobody ever is like, I don't want to be lucky today. <laughs> no, given the opportunity, everybody would want to be lucky every single day. And uh, this is just a small taste of that. So we got 37 left. I know I'm, again, we're 30 something minutes into this. I'm rambling like I normally do, sharing stories. Hopefully that's why you enjoy and just like hanging out with me and uh, like hanging out with our channel. Sometimes we like to do that. We've got quite a few Nimbus as well. Certified this time. I, I would take another one of those painted, I'll be honest with you. Again, you know, you could just, we got 30 something crates left. You could slide another, you could slide a black market decal, a gold explosion decal, you know, they, they go together pretty well. You know, honestly, I would take another set of painted raging wheels, not pink, you know, vary it up a little bit. We got a lot of these painted, I feel like. This has been a really good crate opening for painted items as well. I'm really, I'm starting to conceptualize that as we, as we kind of tick through these and kind of wind down near the, near the bottom. We've got quite a few painted versions of these. Um, again, we got the Yamane wheels. We got that beautiful solar flare. We even got a discotheque. I think uh, we've got painted finnies. I mean, it's been a pretty solid. And then obviously a bunch of decals we've gotten, you know, some of each of those painted. It's been a pretty solid opening so far as far as painted items, which is, again, that's why we're here. Part of the reason we are here is to get some cool painted items that we can make our cars look sweet. Let's see what we got here. Oh, man, I would love one of those. Here we go. Sky blue. I love me some sky blue, man. Those are nice, man. Gosh, look how good these look on this car. Look how freaking good these look, man. These are clean. These are freaking clean. Let's go. White, I'm pretty sure gray. I'm going to say gray. I don't think they were black. White, gray, orange, and now sky blue of these. All from this crate opening, which is crazy. These are nice, man. These are some good good wheels we may have to hmm. we'll see how the rest of these fold out we may have to try to put the set of those together it's always nice especially as you start to grow your collection to have a couple sets of just very rare wheels painted that way they can just match with everything if you want a real clean look you can uh you got something you got something in reserve here i am uh i am very i am very happy i am more than satisfied with this crate opening up to this point Obviously, we got the one thing that we really wanted. We snagged one of them solar flares. Super awesome. Again, lucky enough to get it painted. Feeling good about that. That is awesome. Um, anything now, honestly, on the back end of this, these last 30 or so crates, is pure, pure 100% um, just bonus at this point. Definitely gotten our, our lux worth out of all this stuff. We're going to get some sky blue finnies. This game knows I love the sky blue it 100% does and these look super nice and they're certified dang man these are freaking clean too these would look good really good honestly if this car was white and I had a similar setup these things would freaking pop off this thing because it's got that like white inner ring hmm man I might have to go get me a white Mav now <laughs> Oh, I can't win. Solid items. Solid, solid items. Solid crate opening. Now, it would really just top this off if this was sky blue. Oh, no way! Let's go! Let's freaking go! <laughs> Dude, oh my god. You cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. I literally have the sky blue setup. I've got the sky blue setup. Look at this thing. I cannot I cannot freaking believe that. You can't <laughs> You can't write that. I did I don't know what to say because the fact 
of the matter that we just got those two wheels and this boost painted in sky blue is just <laughs> freaking incredible. This crate, oh man, this crate opening. It's turned out to be one of the one of the better ones that we've ever had. So again, thank you. Did we just get another one of these? What is this game doing to us? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't make this up. I'm not doing anything. I hold my controller like normal. Is I can't this is crimson. This has to be crimson. This is just incredible. This is just freaking incredible. This crate opening is insane. I I have to look. I'm sorry. I Again, normally we do this and we do it at the end, but I, I can't not do this at this point. I hate that this screws this up, but Crimson Juggler. I'm just, I'm blown away right now. Crimson Juggler, Sky Blue Synthwave, Sky Blue Finnies. We got the Sky Blue Yamains. I, I just, this was Titanium White, so not gray. I'm an idiot. Uh... A cobalt, beautiful. Be these beautiful, beautiful. Orange finnies, a titanium white venom. Orange. These were titanium white. We knew that. Solid. This is black. Pink. Two pink ones. I, I just. These were gray. Cobalt goalkeeper. A saffron. I'm just. I'm just. I don't. Guys, what? What is this luck right now? This is insane. This is absolutely insane. I, I just the the items that we just pulled here. And we've still got how many of these we got left? We got 27 of these left. The, there are things <laughs> there are things that can make this obviously better as we finish these out. And if we get anything else, I I don't I I'm not really gonna know what to say at that point. But the fact that we got two painted and one certified and this is painted and certified and this is sky blue this is freaking sky blue i know i i know for a fact it's sky blue it has to be because the game knows that we love sky blue it's sky blue a sky blue tactician uh, the look at these items that we've gotten in the past i don't know how many i don't even know how many crates it was but it hasn't been very many for the division of these items. Now granted there's a couple other items scattered in between here that we probably already had, but sky blue, sky blue, sky blue, and sky blue is just incredible. I just uh, sky blue is my favorite like one of my favorite colors in this game. It matches so well. Everything looks so good. A lot of things look really, really good with it. I'm just I don't know what to say. You guys know me. I'm usually not very speechless. I could probably talk for hours and hours and hours on end. And the luck at the the back half of these crates has just been freaking phenomenal. We got 25 left. We started with 132, so we're just over 100 in, and we just we're just hitting some freaking absolute bangers, man. I can't believe it's it's this is definitely making up for. <laughs> The previous crate opening, uh, which was good. I was happy with the last crate opening we did. It was a good crate opening. We got some cool items. Again, happy to be back opening some crates. And just this is just absolutely just destroyed it. Um, it. Two black markets out of the number of crates that we've opened is crazy. The Again, on top of them... The, it's painted. I just that is just so insane to me. So insane. I've got goosebumps right now a little bit. Honestly, I'm like tr really like trying to comprehend how good our luck has been in this crate up to this point. Elevations is, are, is now very quickly ranking among my top favorite crates that we've ever opened. And if we hit another black market decal, I will lose my crap. Like I said, this still just slightly underneath um, just the great luck that we had doing all the stuff when we streamed the PCCs during the you know the double pain weekend and all that stuff. I mean, 
you know, that was absolutely awesome. But everything was stacked in our favor for that. And we obviously did a we you know we did about 70 more crates and a bunch of trade ups on the back end for that stuff. This for this crate opening has been one of the luckiest ones that we've had. This is absolutely insane. I'm just I'm just freaking blown away. And at this point, I'm like almost. <laughs> this sounds really bad. I'm almost expecting to get something else like super super awesome. I will not 100% not be disappointed because. I really wanted some solar flares, and we freaking got some. <laughs> I'm I'm absolutely stoked about that. Um, we got some really clean painted wheels that that I want that I'm absolutely gonna use. I just uh, man, I'm I'm blown away. I'm thank you if you're still watching this. We're this is gonna be a really long crate opening. If you're still watching it and you sticking through the end. Um, I think your your time investment, because you're not spending any money, your time investment has been well worth it, uh, because this has been absolutely awesome, absolutely freaking awesome. <laughs> the other thing I still can't get over, and the solar flare came up at like the worst opportune time, uh, because I was really excited about the fact that I had called that sky blue synth wave after picking up those couple of sky blue wheels in a row uh, was just freaking nuts <laughs> I still can't get over that I'm uh, I'm happy with my prediction abilities I had called Zionics before this and told them that I needed some sky blue items so they hooked me up no I, I wish that was the case that was 100% not I'm just um, Extremely lucky. The game loves me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's a good night. Hopefully, it's a great day. Whatever day you're watching this on, however long after this, this video is posted, or if you're watching, if you're the first person watching this, I freaking love you. Um, hopefully, you're having a great day. Wherever you are in your life, I'm hoping you're having an absolute great day. And I'm just man. Two solar flares painted crimson, cobalt, great freaking colors. I am freaking stoked, man. We got 13 crates left. We are gonna we're gonna 100% finish these as soon as the last crate rolls through. We're gonna be done. This video is way way too long already. But thank you again. If you stuck around and you're watching this whole thing and you're just chilling, drop a comment down below. Tell us, tell me, tell the world what your favorite. I don't know. What's your favorite food? I don't know. Just share a happy thought. I don't know. Talk about anything that you want in the comments. Um, but hopefully you're enjoying this video. I, I sincerely hope you are. I, I have sincerely enjoyed making it up until this point. And we got another painted one of these. What is that, purple? I like I like that. I like that banner. That's a good banner. <laughs> That's a good... I like that banner. It's a good banner. Um, I man, what a good crate opening. I am whew, very, very happy. Very, very happy. We will definitely not take up any more time after this. Uh, painted and certified. I don't even... We'll, we'll take a quick look. After the last crate is open, we will take another quick look at what we got. We won't do any of the trade-ups. i got plenty of stuff to trade up. We'll probably look to do that in another episode. And uh, we'll see if the luck with the elevation crates can continue. I hope so. It, it doesn't honestly matter if it does because we've just done so well. We've got nine left. Man, imagine if we got a singularity on top of it. That would just be our mainframe. Man, I'm just, uh, I don't know, stoked. I'm freaking stoked. Two solar flares. That's what I wanted. Painted, both painted, good colors. I just, I know I've said that about six times at this point already, but i that's how excited for this I am. We got a lot of customization options after this too, especially with the sky blue setup and... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be making this look pretty good. Solar flare, loving on me, man, loving on me. I cannot believe that. Absolutely awesome. Seven left. Whoo! I'm gonna have to ride this this these good feelings all the way to I don't even know where. I have to play some games and hopefully not get any toxic opponents and <laughs> yeah, keep my keep my positivity up. Another painted one of these. These things are just loving on me right now. 
That was, I don't know what color that was. Pink, I guess? Kind of hard to tell. The white one definitely did not look white. It looked gray. 100% looked gray. Some finny wheels. Finny wheels. I really like these in the sky blue. Those are clean. Absolutely clean. Five left. Five left to close us out on these. Again, really long video. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're enjoying the content back up on the channel again. Trying to do the best we can to keep this, keep it consistent. That's what we want. Can't promise anything. Um, sadly, this is not my full-time job. I wish it was, sincerely. Uh, but there's a lot of other people out there that do this a lot better than me. And uh, unfortunately, again, not my full-time job. So i got to have another job. <laughs> got to pay those bills. And i got to make money to be able to get some crates. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> got to be able to get some keys to get some crates. And I'm happy with what we've gotten here. Absolutely happy. Absolutely stoked. So cool. So freaking cool, man. Yeah, main wheels giving us some love. Happy with the colors we got on those. The white were absolutely awesome. Really, really like the sky blue ones too. Two crates to go. Last two crates. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Again, we'll do a quick inventory look. We already know what the awesome items are. If you don't, we're going to show you anyways because we're going to jump. <laughs> if you skipped all the way to the end of this because it's a 50-something minute video, uh, more power to you. Not mad at you. This is purple or pink. That's pretty cool. I do like me some painted sticker bombs. We'll see what item we finish on here as we crack this last crate. Here we go. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? If this is... Oh, man. All right. We're going to finish off with Lucky Stars. I definitely feel like we had some Lucky Stars looking over us tonight um, because we got some absolutely freaking awesome, awesome items. Let's take a look here. R just super solid. So we got that pink sticker bomb. Again, we got some paint of this. Another Sky, sky Blue Striker, man. This game, it doesn't even know. It doesn't even know right now. We got a Titanium, strike, titanium White Striker one of these last time and now we just got a sky blue striker one we're gonna favorite that we're gonna keep that bad boy purple bobs uh, a couple of orange sticker bomb pretty cool again a tactician <laughs> so we got striker and tactician sky blue i don't know which one of those we'll keep this just freaking awesome crimson obviously i wish the certification was better but that's me saying that and not upset at all super stoked about this crimson solar flare absolutely awesome we get that sky blue synth wave sky blue finnies sky blue yamains just sky blue loving us today we got the titanium white bob ramen what else we got we got the cobalt solar flare so awesome the f just the fact that we got both of these in one crate opening is just absolutely incredible um and again two really really good colors i'm stoked about that titanium white uh, retro sun we got the orange we got orange both orange wheels we got these titanium white yamains man i mean these are just awesome we got three pink uh bob's ramen we got the gray and this was really the first banger item that we got with this cobalt goalkeeper gurnots i'm just freaking incredible this was the first thing that we opened was the the saffron discotheque man what a what an awesome crate opening Guys, thank you so, so very much. If you stuck through the whole video, you're an absolute animal. Um, if you skip through or somebody highlighted the items down below, more power to you. Hopefully you got to enjoy uh, the credit opening. And again, welcome back. If you're new, welcome back. Uh, well, that didn't make any sense. If you're new, thank you for joining us. Subscribe, like, comment, do all that stuff down below. We really do appreciate it. Sincerely love to chat with you guys in the comments. If you're, if you're returning... Love to keep chatting with you, and uh, just thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to sign us off. Doc from Average Gamer, guys, as always, thank you so very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.